If you watch Evil Worst Lab videos, or happen to have watched my video on the topic, you're familiar with the concept of inverse roof conditionals. Previously, this mechanism just made building around roof bunkers a little inconvenient. But as both Evil and I have suggested, it can also be used to enable a twig seal. This takes a bit of planning to make use of, which wouldn't have been worth it before the patch given the increased build cost and comparative ease of simply unsealing with a twig roof. Here are the basic steps to build an inverse conditional roof bunker. Square foundation with a raised foundation to one side and a wall on the other. Fill in with a half wall and slap a hat on it. A hat is a set of half walls which protect the twig we seal with. Square roof then goes down the middle and either type of roof at the base of the raised foundation. Upgrade both. While the roofs are of the same tier, the conditional of the seal roof will trigger and open the passage. At this point, you're ready to seal with the first roof's vertical socket. That socket is for things like stairs, other roofs, walls, etc. As always, make sure to practice on a build server to ensure your design will function properly. Oh, and fair warning, roofs can block placement of adjacent foundations, so make sure you have your surrounding footprint in place before installing them. Here's a tiny base that exists only to showcase this concept. If you use a square roof at the base of the foundation, it'll act as a ramp up into the hat, which you can use for a bit of storage. It's borderline impossible to access anything other than a barbecue while the sealed twig is in place though. Lastly, note that you can seal from both sides, but only unseal from inside. These seals can scale upwards for as long as you have patience. For me, that's going to stop at 2. The first change we make is to use a full wall instead of a half on top of our raised foundation. Then, we even it out and add a hat. Now for the hard part. We need to guard both twig seals. That means the upper portion needs to be better protected than the lower. Otherwise, they would simply unseal the lower bunker as soon as they blew into the upper. To establish such a path, we snake around in a spiral like so from lower to upper. Bear in mind, by the way, that this is an example meant to make this a little easier to follow. I wouldn't recommend using exactly this as a footprint. Also, considering how insane roof splash damage is at the moment, I advise being extremely thorough in your raid testing. Also, 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 inverting the raid depth like this means you have to pay even more attention to your block upgrades, something I can't get into here in the interest of brevity. If you'd like me to cover that topic though, kindly let me know in the comments. And that's all I've got for Rust Science 3. Take care of yourselves. I hope you're having a wonderful day.